Mm. Three of these things belong together. Uh, three of these things belong together. Hit it! All right. <clears throat> okay. You're I'll do the, the first, first part first? of it. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll do the next part. You have to do the other. All right. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, everybody ready? Now take a look there. See? See that stuff there? Okay, now three of these things belong together. Three, three recent COVID-19 infections, two at Divec Diamond Mine, and one from an NWT resident that was related to international travel, have now been identified as variants of concern. The B.1.1.7 variant first identified in the United Kingdom. All three cases have this UK variant. So while research is underway nationally and internationally to better under, understand the impact of these variants of concern, such as how they are spread and the severity of illness they cause, evidence gathered to date is concerning. Evidence suggests that variants of concern are more transmissible, meaning they spread to other people easier. Each COVID-19 infection from a variant will infect more people compared to the original virus. What's more, the evidence is emerging, which shows that variants cause more severe infections in younger adults and more hospitalizations and deaths in this age group. So we can't let variants gain a foothold in the Northwest Territories. Our importation risk is real and increasing right now with COVID infections soaring across the country. And specifically, these this increase, this third wave, are due to variants. 